Gatsby loves to smile. Cue music. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for being so patient while I got better from my cold. So I'm starting off the day with doing a gym workout and then I'm gonna go and play some tennis with my friend Chris. I don't think I'm gonna film at the gym because it gets really crowded in the morning. Hey yo, Robin, I get more head than when they nod in. Corgi on fleek is popping up Mary Poppins. Just for the record, that heart is what I'm copping. Lasting two pockets of fishnet stockings. You know you missed this ride. M.I.S. has missed this pie. Used to call me Hillary cause I rot him. I brought my knot and bot with me. so hot outside, oh my gosh, that was fun. Oh no, I can't find my other baby clownfish anywhere. The small one, the Nemo fish. Where do you go? I only see the big one. Uh-oh, did he escape back to the EAC? He needs to go and find his dad. He went and got all of the fish in the ocean to help him out. Might as well just do a water change right now. Okay, I'm just gonna fill it up with some more seawater now. There we go, I guess one fish gets to enjoy the entire aquarium by himself now. This is the meanest fish too. If I add another fish, he'll probably end up just killing whatever fish comes inside. We'll see. What kind of music do you like, Gatsby? Is it Gatsby Derulo? Corgi Minaj? I'm gonna give Gatsby this deer chew. It came from the bark box. Stay. Cookies! No! Stay! Cookies? Corgis? Come! There you go! Wow, that disappeared so quickly! He has allergies again. No chicken for you! We made it to the mall with Sean! We're gonna check out all the Star Wars stuff. We used to have so many Star Wars collectibles. All the Disney Star Wars, it's Force Friday. Oh, it's build a bit workshop. Oh. Sean wants the BB-8 robot. Apparently it's very, very hard to find. I had the R2-D2 one. I think that's right there. They have the boxes. Oh, they do. Oh, it's sold out. Oh. It's sold out. Empty boxes. There it is. 150 bucks. So I had the R2-D2 one, which cost about like $100 at sharper image at the time. And then right now it's going for like 270 These are all the sex toy. Is it? No, these. Oh. They're personal massagers. They show people doing it on their shoulder. But I'm like, it's too deep. It's for your other places. Look, another store. BB-8. They're not gonna have it. They're all sold out. Look, they have a whole Star Wars section. We can get this clothes for Gatsby to wear. That's about it. Trying the Disney store. Oh, Star Wars. It's Kylo Ren. It's Kylo Ren. Is this the mask? Yeah, I saw it on Jimmy Kimmel. They have BB-8. <laughs> Look, no one wants Finn. Finn Parland. You got it. The girl, she only has a first name. They didn't give her her last name yet because I'm guessing her last name is Skywalker and they don't want to <laughs> reveal that it's her. All the Star Wars stuff. $30. Cause you're paying for this extra part. <gasps> These are back. Kylo Ren Command Shuttle. Kylo Ren is played by um, Bill Weasley from, um, or is it Charlie Weasley? One of the Weasleys from Harry Potter. $25 each. Wow. I have like a lot of them from Attack of the Clones. But we're saying this is wrong because the c 3 field doesn't have a red arm like in the new movies. That reminds me of Iron Man. <laughs> it does. <laughs> they just painted him. R2-D2 first. R2-D2 hoodie. Oh, Gatsby could wear this one. Oh, he could totally wear that. <laughs> Except we'd have to cut the sleeves. Unfortunately, there was not very much Star Wars stuff left. I know, everywhere. 
Sean is a little sad now. He had to be standing in line on Friday, on Horse Friday morning. Two for twenty dollars for Amiibos, and you can get towed. The Wii U section here is incredibly sad. Incredibly sad. They have nothing. There's no Mario Kart. There's no Super Smash Brothers. Our favorite thing is still here. Squinkies 2. Wait, wasn't there two of them? The Nintendo DS. Oh yeah, they only have one left. Someone bought the other Squinkies. More Star Wars stuff. I was saying, what happened to my R2D? I asked my mom. It used to have like infrared sensors and heat seeking stuff so like it could tell where humans are and stuff and she sold it for $35. It's going for $275 online. Look, I made it to level A rank on Splatoon. That's ridiculous. Gatsby, you're my cheerleader. You need to help me out. <laughs> oh my gosh, look! We won! Ah! A plus! Yes! I can't believe I made it. I made it to A plus! Gets me so naughty. I just took him out to use the bathroom and then our neighbor's dog was there. He loved her so much that when she knelt down to pee, Gatsby's like, I want to get covered in your pee. And so he was like taking a shower in it all over his head. He was like all happy. And now you got a bath on your head. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> got the corgi backpack going. I have to practice while riding my 9-bot over here, which is charging, so Gatsby can ride too. Gatsby, you're a heavy dog. Gatsby's ready to go to the park. Yeah, you ready? Hi. Gatsby is so tired, but happy. Happy Corgi. Vlogging from the night bot. Doing a nighttime target run. Look, there's Chewbacca. Immune support complex gummies with R2D2 on it. Just grabbing the essentials. I get more eggs and butter. Old fashioned oats. Star Wars cereal. And some Gatorade. I'm gonna make a dessert that my mom suggested. I need sliced almonds. I got this giant BB 8. <laughs> oh, it moves. Giant Chewbacca head. Stuff. Star Wars. Hmm. At least Target has a lot of Splatoons. <laughs> Nothing. Only Luigi's. I got everything out. Okay, I just made it back. Here's my Chipotle here. And my stuff. I'm just gonna stick it inside the refrigerator, eat my Chipotle really fast, and then make the dessert. Now it's time to make the dessert, and it's called Almond Roca Crackers. And my mom used to make this for me when I was younger, I remember, and I really liked it. And it's just super, super simple. So what you'll need are graham crackers. This is the Hawaii brand, a diamond bakery. Sliced almonds, two sticks of butter, and sugar, and that's pretty much it. We want to melt the butter and sugar together until it bubbles. 
And we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. Oh, butter and sugar. I actually need one with edges. Okay, here we go. And then we have to just line out the graham crackers. This like tastes so good. I'm actually really craving it right now. Ta da! Like this. Awesome. I was like home. Okay, while we wait, we're preheating the oven to 325. I think this is good enough right now. We have to pour it onto the crackers and make sure to saturate them. And then you just spread it around with a spoon. It looks like this, all glazed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sliced almonds over here. So we just sprinkle them on. Like so. Ta-da! Yes, okay. Now we stick it in the preheated oven for one and a half minutes. Okay, and then apparently after that, we just turn it around, rotate the cookie sheet so that the other side gets cooked. Set a timer for seven and a half minutes. Every oven will be vary in temperature, so check at about five minutes. You wanna wait until the crackers are light golden brown. Okay, it's been seven and a half minutes. You actually just let this cool for a while. When you let it cool, it actually crisps up. Such a handsome corgi with your clean head. I thought that um, I would answer a few Ninebot questions because a few of you guys were asking about it. I'm like a Gatsby. <laughs> they don't really sell Ninebots in America yet, but I would highly suggest getting it from a website called Hood Riders with a Z. They provide a lot of support and warranties for everything versus if you got it from somewhere like eBay um, or Amazon. They might have a warranty, but you'd have to go through the Chinese distributor and ship it to China, which would cost like hundreds of dollars. Oh yeah, people are asking how do you ride it? Do you have to have really good balance? Actually, I would have to say that balance is not something that has anything to do with the 9bot too much because I actually have really good balance. I balance on like a lot of things but it actually uses something called somatic sense, which I don't think anybody is really born with. It's just something that you have to develop over time. I don't think I'm riding it any differently than when I first started riding it. It's just as wobbly, <laughs> but my body has just got used to it and is able to like compensate. I have to practice with Gatsby so he can ride in my backpack. It's really hard, as you guys saw, to start to learn how to use, but once you get it, it's like it just clicks and you're able to use it. Okay, I waited like an hour. Let's try one of these. Mmm, that's so good. Imagine like a glazed donut, but on a like crispy, crunchy cracker. That is so good. And when they're cool, you can just cut them up and refrigerate them. I can't get over how good that tastes. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. I'm gonna head to bed because it's already really late, so I'll see you guys later in the next vlog. Good night. Super upscale candy over here in little boxes. Baba candies. Wow, expensive. Eight dollars for this. It comes in an amiibo box. Dark chocolate marshmallow cake. 